Dialing scales are used to lay out the face of a sundial geometrically. They were proposed by Samuel Foster in 1638, and produced by George Searle and Anthony Thompson in 1658 on a ruler. There are two scales, the latitude scale and the hour scale. They can be used to draw all mnemonic dials, and reverse engineer existing dials to discover their original intended location. Topic history Dialing scales were first discussed by Samuel Foster in 1638. P. Pierre Bobinet, a Jesuit drew a scale in his book L'orographie ingenuse contenant des connaissances, and Curiosité agréables dans la composition des cadrons, in 1647. It was however George Searle's 1657 book, Dialing Universal, printed by R. and W. Leybourne that brought them to popular attention. These scales remained virtually unchanged for 250 years. E. C. Middleton, who had been engraving dialing scales from about 1895, supplied dialing scales accompanied by a typewritten instruction book from Birmingham in 1913 These were the scales calculated by Searle. The North American Sundial Society has printed facsimiles of both the Searle and Middleton books. The Middleton dial appeared without explanation in the 1994 Encyclopédia de Diderot et Alembert French. Further work has done on these rulers by F. W. Cousins, and by Fred W. Sawyer from 1997 to 2009. Description The traditional scales, Foster -Searle scales are drawn on a ruler. The hour scale shows sin t sin t plus cos t display style sin t over sin t plus cos t and the latitude scale shows sin phi 1 plus sin 2 phi display style sin var phi over sqrt 1 plus sin caret 2 var phi the graduation of these rulers is independent of latitude, making them suitable for drawing all dials. The Foster Searle dial is randomly set for a value of 45 degrees, and is more precise for latitudes below 45 degrees. It is thus a special case in an infinite set of rulers. Usage A right angle is drawn on the dial face and the latitude scale is laid against the x-axis. The target latitude point is marked across onto the dial face. The hour scale is placed from this point to the noon line conventionally, the zero point is on the noon line. Each of the hour points is copied over to the dial face, and this procedure is repeated, giving the hours both sides of noon. A straight edge is used to connect these points to the origin, thus drawing the hour lines for that location. A vertical line from the target latitude point, and a horizontal line through the noon point will bisect at the 3-hour marker. In the northern hemisphere the hours run clockwise. Symmetries about the noon line, the 6-hour line and the 3-hour marker can be detected, and these can be used to add additional lines. The style will be at the same angle as the latitude. It can be simply drawn using the line of chords scale on the dialing ruler. A set of compasses is extended to the 60 degrees point on the line of chords. A radius is drawn from the substyle. The compasses are set to the target latitude on the line of chord scale. This measurement is transferred along the radius. That angle represents the style height. They can be used to draw all mnemonic dials, and reverse engineer existing dials to discover their original intended location. <laughs> 